Today's victory feels bittersweet, like drinking sweet tea with a dash of lemon. The 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment managed to fend off them packed forces, but it came at a cost that cuts deep. Some of our tanks were torn apart and we lost good friends in the process. Seeing them tanks burning, hearing the screams over the radio, it shakes you to the core. It's a stark reminder of the realness of war, of the unforgiving nature of battle. Them boys weren't just names on a roster. They were my brothers in arms, folks I shared laughs and tears with, folks I trusted with my life. It ain't easy to reckon with the loss, to come to terms with the fact that they won't be coming back. But even as the sorrow weighs heavy on our hearts, we know we can't afford to linger in despair. We owe it to our fallen comrades to keep pushing forward, to keep fighting with every ounce of strength we've got. It's times like these that remind you why we're here in the first place. We're fighting for something bigger than ourselves, something worth sacrificing for. We're fighting for freedom, for the folks back home who rely on us to keep them safe. So as the sun sets on another day of battle, I'll say a prayer for them we lost and a prayer for them of us still standing. And when the morning comes, we'll rise again, ready to face whatever challenges the day may bring. Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome to episode three of the NATO version of the Bruderkrieg Army General Campaign. I have two choices, or rather I have two options for this choice. The enemy is disrupting our means of communication and command and control with electronic warfare. Apart from the local Arakan artillery and the reconnaissance forces of the Bundeswehr in Homburg, there's hardly any radio contact. Which one should be deployed? Um, I'm not that big of a user of RD, so I'm going to go with a reconnaissance group. General, the recon forces from Aufklärung Battalion 5 await your command in Homburg. This is a pure scout group. Oh, wow. The Fuchs Razit. Um, exceptional optics, but it can't fight. And you get nine of them. And then you get a lot of Leopard 1A1. And a bunch of looks. Right, yeah, this is going to be a supporting group. Now, let me catch you up to what happened. I have pulled back the ACR just a little bit to make sure it wasn't going to get flanked immediately because this tank group over here was making some serious moves. Another tank group that's making some serious moves is this one, and I think it has overextended. Because by doing this... I might be able to completely destroy this tank group. There's still a bit of infantry left, there's almost no armor left, and, well, the infantry with their BMPs are going to be somewhat annoying, but there aren't that many of them. So I do feel that the Panzergrenadier Battalion, um, armed with martyrs and Panzergrenadiers, should be able to handle that, and then some. There is one alternative that I see, uh, which is extremely daring, it's sending the 11th ACR here and thereby cutting off all of these forces and forcing them to go back, thereby buying myself some time. Because I have Altsfeld, I'm getting three points per turn. They have Bodhersfeld, I can't catch that at the moment. So it's going to give them one tick per turn. Alternatively, destroying this unit means that there is less of an opportunity for them to flank. Um, but this has me a little concerned. So I think that, seeing as I have two units and they have everything else, I'm not going to go for the 11th ACR dash over there. I was going to take the Panzer Grenadier Battalion and wipe some of these last remaining units off the map. It was just going to be them. I can get air support, but I don't really feel like I need it. So let's just resolve these and get rid of some armor and some last BMPs. The map that we get is the one where you have the long road over here, some forests over there, and a very, very open area in Charlie on the left. Oh, they get their Air Force out. That's interesting. So they get the JG-8. That's, I believe, their fighters. So the Geppards, as well as the horrible Fliegerfaust, you're going to have to get brought in to try and do, well, anything against these guys. Um, they don't have a forward deploy. They might get some recon to go to about that line, and I think that'll be a bit. Um, morale's good for them. It's 121. Mine is only 70. I'm not that good with morale. 
So I'm going to have to make sure I don't lose a lot of units. And that could be a bit more dangerous this round. Because the Martyrs and the Panzer Grenadiers are, depending on where you deploy them, a bit more shaky. Do I get any kind of armor support? Uh, no, unfortunately not. When it comes to armor, I'm going to have to either bring them in close, kill them with the Martyr 1A3s with their Milans, or try and get the Jaguars involved with their Toe 2s, or kill them off with the Milan draw, uh, brought in by the Iltis. None of them are particularly great options. But I think just letting a couple of the BMPs rush into positions here and here can very well work. So let's get a couple of Iltis out. And make sure that these guys get deployed quickly. Oh, sorry, get a couple of Panzer Grenadiers out. Um, this is a pretty bad position for them. This is an okay position. Let's actually take this building. Otherwise, we're going to start wasting missiles on the same target. As for additional defenses... I can have some Panzer Grenadiers in there to make sure that if they try and make a push, I can hold them. And I'm going to just kind of blob up for the first bit. I'm going to wait and see what they're going to do. I'm going to have a CV over here. Um, it is possible that they're going to try and do some flanky nonsense over there. So let's make sure that we have something stopping that. Can be just one Panzer Grenadier and a Martyr. Because these guys do come with the excellent Panzerfaust. Six charges. You have to stop any tank, really. Especially if they get close enough to you. Um, side shots, though, are required. Because it is only 14 AP. Now, as for the rest, this building, like maybe uh, with a Martyr with a Milan. Additional HGMs are always fun. Let's get a logistics unit here and here. So that I can immediately resupply these. And then get some spotters to spot everybody that's actually going to be making an appearance here. So one rake on there, one rake on there. You are going to scout from, let's say, round about there. You're going to scout from round about here. And that should have that flank nicely locked down. Giving me 29 points for the rest. So where are we going to go? Charlie is tempting. Especially since I have infantry, I can pretty decently sneak up there. So I'm going to try and lock down this road and then kind of do what I did with the red campaign. So with the other guys in reverse. We're going to sneak up this road. We're going to get some infantry out there and we're going to make sure that we lock down tanks and then potentially bunny hop our way over there. But this time under the cover of smokescreen because I don't really have anything else. Um, can I get a... Um I got three looks. I gotta be really careful with those guys. Really careful. You're gonna go there. As for the buildings here, um, not spectacular. I'm thinking some more HGMs over in this building so that if BMPs and or tanks decide to make a move, they're going to quickly come to regret those choices. So you're gonna go there. You're also going to get logistics unit with you. Additional HGMs, park yourself behind there. This position could be good for ambushing infantry or ambushing using infantry. A problem that this deck might have is that there is infantry that is rookie. Rookie, rookie, rookie. They're all, <laughs> they're all pretty fresh to the game. And that might turn into a problem. Might. I'm hoping it won't, but, well, they will break sooner than I would probably like. And as such, they might need quite a bit of help. So I'm going to deploy some mortars with these guys. And also some Fliegerfaust. Let's just double up the Fliegerfaust so like maybe one can get a hit. Thankfully they're dirt cheap. Um, over here I'm going to get a couple of mortars. No, let's make three. It's fine. As for the AA... Let's have these guys sit over there. I'm going to have the other anti-air units sit over here. Because I am expecting some sort of bombing response there. I have the other ones there. It's not a great position, but if they do try and make some move over here with their planes, these might do some area denial. As for the Geppards... Against planes, they do get a good range, but they'll not likely kill anything, which is kind of my problem. 
they're pretty good units. But without an actual kill on the plane, all you can do is just disable it for the time being. And uh, hope that it doesn't come back too soon. Oh, if I can buy a CV, that'd be great. CV deployed. Let's go. Let's get the mortars like here. And see where the commies are going to come from. Capturing Alpha. They already captured Charlie. All right. Oh, movement. Not you. That's a tank. Drop. Hold on a second. Oh, you're just out of range. It's considered a hard mission for them. Surprises me a bit, really. Go here. Go there. One of these is packing them. Um, no, they're not. That's unfortunate. That means that these Milans are going to have to deal with this tank. Apparently they brought all the tanks over here. So the others... No, there are no others. I'm going to need to get the Milans in there. Probably going to need more Milans for this part. Get a couple more of them. As for the rest, no visual on the enemy just yet. Yeah, they're definitely focusing their efforts here. Including BMPs and all sorts of nonsense. Come on, get the kill. Hit. Kill. Beautiful. These guys are going to be very hard pressed to try and hold this. I.e. they won't. Okay, Milans, forward. These guys... Um, you will not be able to get into the position where I want you to go. Absolutely not. Drop off. Martyr, fall back. Drop. There's all sorts of nonsense in these woods. Oh, there was infantry in there as well. Okay. Maybe the Jags... Need to make an appearance. That's going to be two Jaguars. Oh, the Milans have survived. That surprised me. Drop off. Get the hell out. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're engaging the Gepard. Sneaky bastards. Okay. <clears throat> These Milans are in a very bad spot. Drop off. I want this martyr out of here. I want these Panzer Grenadiers standing by to prepare for the arrival of a couple of tanks. Ooh, beautiful side shot. Well done, that. Hold your position. I'm going to need, like, a looks or two to mow down the infantry here. You destroyed him here! Okay. Surprising. Yeah, you guys need infantry support. Well... Kill. They're barely dealing any kind of damage. I had expected these guys to deal a lot more than what they're currently doing. This is problematic. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, there goes the Milan. You won't win that. You might die before the time comes that you get to fight. Pull the CV out of here, get these Panzer Grenadiers to fight. And I need some more reconnaissance. Fortunately, the looks are already coming in. You go over there. You go over there. Oh, they did get the CV. Okay, fine. Looks. Let's go. There's something in there. Bravo. 
I guess we're going to have to send in some more of the youth to Germany. Because without that, I won't be able to take these positions. That is not a great idea. As for these tanks over here, at the moment, I don't really have a good way to deal with them. <laughs> I need a bigger gun. Or more of them. Get rid of these motor shits and... Ow. Mons are getting destroyed. Why are you leaving this building? Don't underestimate the enemy. And don't let them... Or don't interfere when they're making a mistake, sure. But this is a weird course of action. Like, they had cover. I had a very difficult time shooting them. And then they said, well, you know, let's get out of the building. I just don't understand it. Get some more martyrs over there uh, with a leader. Again, Strelas? Pushing with Strelas? Why? Can we get that? No, we can't. Push out a little bit. Kill. You get back. He'll just go pick him up. Ooh, that's really close on top of the Milan. Hey, Guardi. Go, 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 go. The shells are coming dangerously close. These are the more expensive Milan, so I'd better keep them alive. You're going to drop off there. You're going to drop off there. Uh, take on some fuel if you need it, and we might be able to go all the way around and deal with that artillery. As for the area here, I'm not 100% that whatever that was died, that tank. And I need to do something about this cap. Thankfully, that command infantry over there should be doing a neutralization here soon. I'm a bit concerned about the losses that I've taken. It's not good. You, go forward. Just hunt. Oh yeah, they're trying to kill off the recon. Alright, fair enough. Let's go. Let's go. Give me more reconnaissance. Because I'm not sure how long these are going to last. Oh, hello. Oh boy! That is not what you want to see on the side. There goes a Lux. Jaguar, got a job for you. Shit. Oh, they're shelling the buildings. I really do not want to give up this position. Is that a tank? It's a tank, all right. Yep, that's a tank, all right. Fortunately, this building, I was going to say, is going to provide some cover up until the point where they destroy it. Okay, go. Over there. We've got an AM2 over there. That is not HGM capable. So maybe these boys can actually do something. Um, as for over here, I'm kind of scared to send in additional Panzergrenadiers because I'm not so sure if they'll survive. I'm rather concerned. <laughs> and I'm thinking they won't survive. Seven minutes till their victory, but here comes the CV. Jag. Got a tank over there that needs dealing with. 18 minutes. There you go. Buy some time. Recon, let's move. Panzer Grenadier forward. You, go deal with this tank. You outrange it by a few hundred meters. It should be sufficient to give that thing some pause. Oh, you already got it? No, it smoked itself up. All right. There you go. It left. You're reloading. Is that thing gone? No, it is not gone. It is not gone. Alright, let's go. That's a resupply. Keep going forward with the Milans. Uh, give me another Jaguar over here. I'm going to kill that tank. 
Oh, you're going to try and resupply the tank, are you? That would be unfortunate. No such thing as a an innocent logistics vehicle in this war. Kill this thing. Even if it's going to come at the price of a couple of Milans. Really? You cannot even kill a logistics unit? Fine. It'd be like that, I guess. Holy crap. Jag. Move. You got far better missiles. You're empty. Let's get a couple of resuppliers because I'm expecting some more resistance here. I can shell this tank for a bit, but I doubt it'll do much. Yeah, actually, that's not. Let's get these over here. 16 minutes to victory. We need to clear out this sector. Can't reach that. Okay, let's get some more mortars. Oh, you're actually not empty. My bad. Uh, you get in the vehicle, get in the vehicle, get in the vehicle. That's a T-55, all right. Well, they're not terribly happy to see me. I think I'm one shot, my Jaguar almost. Got it. Okay, good work. Move. You can get yourself fixed. You can kill this. I'm surprised this thing got this deep. It's got mediocre optics, but... If given the chance, I will use this to try and kill some artillery. That would be a nice kill to get. Let's go. You're inside of your vehicle. Come on, get in the vehicle. It shouldn't be this tricky. I'm probably missing something. Let's go. Hunt and then fall back. Hello. Oh. Oh, that's a command tank. That martyr won't survive that. I'm going to try and keep my martyr intact while the Panzer going to Deers and the uh, Aufklärer deal with this. That thing has to go. Let's move. Let's get you another recon over here. You are now depleted. Didn't even fire. Okay. Uh, are these other mortars here yet? Almost. Because I'm trying to stun this guy for a bit. So that the infantry is going to have an easier time killing it. i got no missiles left. Okay, it looks. Let's go. Oh, shit. You saw that, did you? Okay, fine. I have to take a little bit more time here. Trying to conserve my units. Are you seriously struggling to kill one tank? Guess you are. Smoke yourself up and fall back. We'll deal with you later. Stun this tank. Get rid of it. Oh, why are you moving? Because you cannot suddenly know that there's already coming in. That would be really weird. Unless this thing has some sort of clairvoyancy, that it cannot know that. Holy shit, these AG, sorry, these AT weapons are bad. I take back all the good things I said about the Panzerfaust, because it's actually quite shit. There we go. That did give me control of the sector. Took a little longer than I wanted, though. What you got there? Gvazdika, hello. Go kill that. This sector is now mine. Panzer unsecure. 62 minutes to victory. 
Gonna take a while, but we'll get there. Oh, this thing is running out of fuel. Okay, fair enough. Um, we're gonna pepper the Quasdika with the other cannon. And, oh, unless this thing kills me in direct action. Just pepper it. Take the supply truck for yourself and refuel. Stop. So now I might be able to go through here and attack them in their flank. That's the new plan. You, go back, go back. Looks this way. But you're better in the field. You're getting resupplied. Excellent. You're going to go there. Interesting to see that they have not used their air force yet. Not a guarantee that they will never do that. But maybe so far they just have not been given a target. Go back. Oh, what is that? Oh boy! Big target. I did forget about you, my friend. Thankfully, Jaguar is on point and might be able to get the kill here. That did come at the expense of a martyr and accompanying infantry. Unfortunate. And once again, it has survived. Forward, don't show yourself. Ah, fuck, the looks died. I was hoping that the looks could maintain its cover behind the tree line, but no joy. Oh. Shoot that. That tank is in no mood to play around. Jaguar, let's go. Stop. Okay, I need to get these guys resupplied. You are depleted. You can go home. Getting your martyr. Getting your martyr. Getting the other wounded martyr. You go over there. These other martyrs are going to move, like, I don't know, here, I guess. What? Oh! Was that the command unit? Was it really? That'd be, that'd be actually really useful. Oh, fuck. Yes! There is a command tank in there. Jaguar. Can we finally eliminate this tank? Please. I would be much appreciative if you could finally lob your toe too, which is supposedly extremely accurate, into the side of this tank. But we're going to lose line of sight. Ooh, get him. Ah, oh, you missed him again? Good lord. Amateur hour intensifies. At least our CV has been pushed out of this sector. Good lord. What's your accuracy again? 70%? Is it really? Because to me, that did not look like a whole lot of 70%. Get the recon. You're empty. Who wants morphium? Oh, you do. Okay, fine. <clears throat> These tree lines are making it difficult to engage their units. Well, there's a whole bunch of shit here. Um, the problem that I do foresee is that the enemy is going to be using a tank as a command unit. And that's something I can't exactly deal with. Unless I rush it. What? Again? Origin. Here. Gentlemen, I have a job. <clears throat> Go get that. Oh, what the hell is the Gepard doing here? Oh, that's both of my Gepard's dead. I don't get that. I do not get that. These guys maneuver and then shoot again. Oh, 
zwei Arten von Menschen. Just hit that tank up, will you? I know it won't do anything. You're still here. Damn. Kill it. That's the logistics. And there's the Artie. And there's more Artie. <laughs> oh, and there's the command tank. Oh, dude, that's the problem. I can't kill that. <clears throat> Not with a couple of martyrs. Nevertheless, I feel that the martyrs did what they needed to do. Thank you, Milan. Job well done. Panzer Grenadiers, take that building. We're gonna get support for mortars, should they still have anything in there. Oh! You're finally coming out to play. Side shot? Nope. Because Jaguar's not doing Jaguar things. I don't get it. Like, what's the deal with your accuracy? This is getting fairly ridiculous. This is getting fairly ridiculous. Start doing something. It is one tank. Drop off. Let me guess, you're at RPGs. Yeah. Thank you. Good lord. <coughs> that took me a lot longer than I wanted to. Let's move up again. Let's move to this building. I've cleared her there. I do have a whole lot of points, and I can spend them. The problem is, I am very concerned that I'll lose them, because I don't have a good place to either ambush something, or to try and hunt down their CV with. Because hunting down their CV is going to have to happen with a Jaguar. Oh, speaking of. Or we're going to have to use something along the lines of a couple of Milans. You got five out of six left. Sounds good. Like, right now, I cannot touch this thing. Stupid as it sounds, I don't have the firepower to deal with it. Oh, hello. Tank in there. We're gonna flood the area with ATGMs. Why not? Hello. I'm still not sure if there's anything left in this tree line, and I'm a bit concerned about finding out. Like, I'm not eager <laughs> to test the assumption that there's nothing in there. Yeah, of course. Okay, go scout out again. Do we have more recon infantry? Unfortunately not. Here. Ooh. Oh, actually, they can't see shit. Okay. That's surprising, really. Hello. You're still here? Huh. 50% of conquest points. It's not the way I wanted to win, but it's a win. Uh, what are you sporting? HGM infantry. Okay. Yeah, like we're seeing enemies all over the place. I just can't touch them. There's a resupplier. Most likely the CV is somewhere in there. Oh, I, just give me one leopard. There's the CV. One leopard. <clears throat> leopard 1A3, leopard 1A5, leopard 2. 2A3 would be lovely this time of year. Oh, fuck. Hello, CV. You don't have the firepower to deal with that. Um... 
near depleted as well. This is gonna be tricky. Finally got that tank. Let's go. We'll get him in the end. There's the CV. Bloody hell. Recon infantry, get over there, spot that command vehicle. Jaguar, go make yourself look stupid, because you're not very good at making yourself look good. There's the command tank. Just wide out in the open. They're not even making an effort anymore. Because they know that my units will miss. Like, <laughs> this thing's just taunting me at the moment. Oh, boy. It's just going... It's sitting there going, uh, yeah, come and get me if you think you can. But I've seen your accuracy. And I'm not holding my breath. Go. Recon infantry. At this point, the martyr should be able to make something happen. Hello, infantry. Recon dead. Good. I think the CV might be... Did you accidentally hit something? Oh! Really? If the, the battlefield is changing like this, then they push another CV in. Okay. Not what I was expecting, really. Make sure this force is clear. Uh, go find yourself a resupply. Clearing a sector with Milans. This is such a weird game at times. Kill that logistics truck. Can you kindly shoot? Shoot something? Yes? Yes! Thank you. Command infantry, take this sector. Shoot this. We should be half the sector right now. Ten minutes to victory. Not a long... A lot of margin, but we'll have to make it work. Um, it's almost like their CV is half inside and half outside of the zone, and it just keeps going back and forth. Like, it doesn't know what to do. It's weird. Oh, hello. Oh, you're out of missiles. Well, with your hit rate, I'm not that surprised. And kill. I right now don't really feel the need to send in a whole bunch of infantry to try and kill a CV here. I think it would be... Oh. What? They just gave it away? Where did... <laughs> what? Where did the CV go? Why is it gone? Makes no sense. And that's infantry? Yeah. It's a mortar team. The hell? What is going on right now? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. What is going... Oh! Yeah, they're right here. Fine. Never mind. I got the zone. It's fine. It's done. It is done. It is only, however, a minor victory. The enemy did earn three fatigue points, but I earned two. Not great. But they're gone. That's the key of it. So now, if I push here, I can make that blob disappear. Now, these, some of them have taken some damage, some of them not so much. So they're likely to engage the Panzer Grenadier group, which is going to make it interesting for me to hold that area. We'll see how that goes in the next episode. 
Thank you for watching this one. I'll see you soon for more.